I'm Dr. Peter Bregan, and this is the first in my series of simple truths about psychiatry. Today I'm talking about biochemical imbalances. Has anyone ever told you that you had a biochemical imbalance? Did you go to the doctor feeling anxious or stressed or depressed and have them say, oh yeah, it's genetic, it's biochemical, you need a psychiatric drug? Well, you might be surprised to learn that the only biochemical imbalances in the brains of people who see psychiatrists are the ones put in there by the psychiatrists. We don't have any evidence that any routine psychiatric problem from anxiety to depression and even schizophrenia has anything to do with a biochemical imbalance. So where did an idea like that come from? We know the answer. It was actually made up by the brilliant minds that the drug company, Eli Lilly, even before Prozac was approved for depression by the FDA, Lilly was sending its minions, its paid physicians and consultants, out into the world to say that depression was caused by a biochemical imbalance and in particular a kind of sluggish serotonin neurotransmitter, just not enough serotonin working. But Lilly knew from the beginning that it wasn't very simple, that this drug Prozac wasn't exactly going to jack up your serotonin like it was supposed to. The whole idea behind Prozac was that it would block the removal of serotonin from those active places in your brain called the synapses. You know, here's one cell and it's dropping Prozac into the, not Prozac, here's, here's one, um, cell and it's dropping serotonin into the synapse and here's the other cell and it's picking up serotonin and then comes Prozac and it blocks the removal of the serotonin from this space and that's supposed to mean you're going to puddle serotonin, you're going to increase serotonin in the synapse. Well, in fact, and Lily knew this, knew this before the drug was approved, the brain doesn't like to have the serotonin puddling in its synapses and the brain responds by stopping producing serotonin. It responds by increasing its ability to remove serotonin. It responds by becoming less sensitive to serotonin. So from the beginning it was a flim flam. It was a PR claim that you got biochemical imbalances and Prozac's gonna fix it. So, what do you conclude from this? People who have emotional problems, you, me, we all have emotional problems, we don't have anything wrong in our brains. And if we do, if someday some of these problems turn out to be caused by something going on in our brains, rather than in our lives, in our emotions, in our hearts, in our feelings, if it turns out to be so, then psychiatric drugs aren't fixing them because psychiatric drugs are causing biochemical imbalances in your brain. They get into the normal brain and they change it. Whether it's nicotine that you're smoking, whether it's alcohol you're drinking, the drug is changing your brain. And that's why when you stop, you get a withdrawal reaction because the drug has changed your brain. No doubt about it. I'll tell you a simple story. Um, I used to drink too much coffee. I had my office in my home years and years ago, and the coffee pot was there, and you know, the, had my office built onto the outside of the house. And I would just drink coffee all day long. One day, I got depressed. I got fatigued. I got achy. I thought, what is going on here? I feel like I need to drink some more coffee. So I drank more coffee, didn't do any good. I drank some more coffee, didn't do any good. For two days, I had a gradually improving sense of fatigue and just feeling lifeless and not really happy about what I was doing. And then on the second day, my wife Ginger said, I could hear her voice from the kitchen, oh my God, honey, I put the decaffeinated coffee into the coffee can. You've been in coffee withdrawal for two days. Now, coffee could do that to you and be that confusing to me a psychiatrist who knows about drugs 
so confusing I didn't know what my feelings were that I thought I was depressed when I was going through withdrawal from a mild stimulant. Imagine withdrawing from other psychiatric drugs and that will be a separate uh, story for you. But right now I want you to know that the biochemical imbalances in your brain right now if you're taking psychiatric drugs are caused by the psychiatric drugs. Consider how a drug is selected to be studied as a psychiatric drug. Well, it can't be studied by showing it corrects biochemical imbalances because we don't know about any biochemical imbalances. The way a drug is studied to find one to test for psychiatry is you find the drug that causes a biochemical imbalance in the brain of a rat. It causes a biochemical imbalance in the normal brain of the animal. And that's just what Prozac did, it's what Paxil or Zoloft does, it's what Abilify or Risperdal does, it's what all the psychiatric drugs do. They muck about in the brain, in this marvelous, complex, incredible organ, more complicated than the whole rest of the universe. It's a toxin in there that's changing things in which ways in which we can't anticipate. Then it becomes up to the drug companies to promote that it's not causing a biochemical imbalance, it's curing one. So listen, get focused on what's real. And what's real is our struggles to live, our struggles to be happy, our struggles to overcome childhood problems and adult stresses. Get focused on yourself as a human being who's alive and whose brain is adequate to the tasks ahead.